umpiring in the Belgian Ladies League because she's still act actively playing in it, in it herself. A good pace here. Into the circle, a half. Oh, wonderful effort. Just over the top. What a spectacular goal that would have been. Long way to go, though. Three quarters of the game remaining. Leopold. Oh, brilliantly taken there by the defender. I eluded them so far in this game. A clever turn in midfield. Nice work there to this right hand side. Koshkin. Good pace. Well, again, very close indeed. A long way to go yet before uh, he can step up onto any podium. Oh. Well, the keeper's got some beyond it. I suspect it was probably going over anyway, but. Uh, There's the show, it's gone through the defence. And uh, Leo have the lead. Kane Russell, two goals from him uh, yesterday. Opening the scoring again for Royal Leopold today. Slightly different setup for this time. Kane is at the further castle, and he's uh, not part of the ploy this time. Well, it's given us a long corner, 11.45 local time here. Then at uh, 1400 hours, Mannheimer and uh, Wimbledon lock horns. Oh, there's a beautiful second goal. Well, not the start to the final quarter that Mints were hoping for. That group, range finding life uh, pretty tough at this level. More chance, oh, just rolled over the goalkeeper. Calmly taking the goal there. Gaspar Bongart, it is. Kane Russell stepping in, he's certainly not backpedalling. A lovely ball over the top. Another chance here, shot comes in, oh! Off the crossbar this time. John Verdusen forced to go back in the end there. Eaton fires it forward. A chance here. There's another tapping goal. Very well constructed. Some total of his uh, goals in terms of the distance travelled by the ball. Before it crossed the line would be uh, around about a metre. And that was a nice little interchange of passes that completely unlocked the defence. Well, that's a penalty stroke. Bam Gott was winding up the shot, leaking in these closing stages. Nicely done. Comes to Groach with another one. And a Royal Leopold it is who have marched into the next round of the Euro Hockey League at Easter. With uh, an impressive late, late show here in Pool C. This is the Euro Hockey League round one. Please welcome Oranje Road of the Netherlands and Aminen from Austria. Off a foot this time. We're on your road, finishing the quarter strongly here. Nice work by Thomas Brill. And forced over the line. I think it may have been the final. Duck from Ben Stanzel. Well, that was all about the determination of Thomas Brill there. Scrambling for the goal and forced over the line. And Armin are back on terms. Well, would you believe it? I think that's Alex Biele who's got the last touch there. Van der Vedder forced to play the ball all the way back again, but here goes Van der Horst. He'll take the ball into the circle and shoot. And goalkeeper there need to make a good save. Van der Horst so dangerous. Run your road again. Just starting to. Build up ahead of steam here. Good pace. And another absolutely simple tap in. And once again, it's 
a goal that's constructed down the right hand side. I've been in handing possession now to Oranje Road, and off goes Rob van der Horst. Lovely ball across. Well, what a miss there. That could so easily have been the third goal. That probably would have been enough. And Mannheim take on Wimbledon. That one's to the side at Pool B. Oh, how did that stay out? How did that stay out? Just went wide of the post. It was. Now this has to go in for Armina. Shot goes in. Pervin Black, who's been a virtual spectator, shows uh, true class. Their goalkeeper has not been involved. There'll be a few regrets that they haven't really given it much of a go here. Oh. Tries to get one with the very last hit of the game. Somehow it stays out of the net. And uh, I'll run your road. I've done the business as we uh, expect them to do so. Not with any degree of comfort, though, it has to be said. Hello and welcome once again to the Pau Negri Stadium here in Barcelona, where our third game of the this final the day here is uh, the EHL first round clash between England's Wimbledon and Germany's Mannheim. But through this time. Mannheim build it again. Concept, oh, Bailey reacted well there. I think he saw it a little bit late. He did very well to keep it out. Out it comes. Pyatt takes, oh! What a flick. Well, that was as good as you're ever going to see. This is luck on the right hand side. Nothing doing there either. Back through Lewis. Nice little deceptive run forward. Takes him to the five metre line. Chance here for Wimbledon. Oh, well, it had to go in. It was uh, Peter Friend running in on goal. Very nearly connected with the ball. But uh, out comes the ball. Oh, good save. Uh, Bailey read that one like a book. And got himself uh, across well. Just over two minutes left in quarter three. Good flat ball, oh, brilliant save. And again, it was Arnold who trapped in there. Lewis, nice pass out to that right-hand touchline. All along the baseline, goalkeeper's out of position. And Ed Haller fires Wimbledon back on level terms and keeps the dream alive. A friend. Friend eager to get on with it. Place the ball into the circle. Oh, well, trying to dig it out, shot comes in. On the turn there, that was a Chad Conlon trying to uh, offload. Just waiting to start the celebration down there. But they've been in a real battle here. Wimbledon have given their all, but they come up just short in the final analysis. And now it'll start to... Uh, they'll start to feel it, the weariness. But at least they uh, know they gave it their very best shot. This is the Euro Hockey League Round 1. Let's hear it for Junior from Spain, a Racing Club de France. Bound to be tension. I think I can promise you goals, but there again, who knows in this uh, wonderful sport of the hockey? So away we go. Oh, it's a terrible opening here for Racing Club. It could be a dream start for Junior. Shot goal. Endangering the uh, team cameraman behind the goal there. But with uh, passing by the left defender like that, you can just see why they're so vulnerable at the back. Junior trying to get on the front foot early here and get the scoreboard with as well. Well, they've got the goal now. A bit 
bit half-hearted maybe or, or not quite decisive. Shot from distance, not far away. Well, head in hands moment there. And so they need to force the play and that's going to play into Juno's hands because they're, they're going to be able to force more turnovers there. That's a nice work. Not the best of shots, but it's still there. It must be a second. It is a second. <laughs> Determined work again. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, that was close to a third. A week in Easter that promises so much. Oh. Now, out it comes. Oh, it's a third one. Very well taken. Angle past the uh, keeper there by Alex Gill. Junior striding forward. Separate. Oh my goodness, very nearly a fourth. Great effort. The attacking player stick, I think he just lifted it into his own uh, into his own face. I think that's what the French were complaining about. psychological art of competing uh, and and Junior's now being put to the test well, there's uh, a very special goal it could be a very important goal as well they've got a fourth there's still a long way to go and still uh, the tension builds here and defending to be done here. Oh my goodness, that nearly squeezed in. Yeah, it, it can do. I, I've got a feeling here it's more of a positive at atmosphere because they've got the support behind them. Um, and that's just helping them play better. They need to play well here. Oh, problems here. Oh, keeper's done well, but he can't keep that one out. I think it's a tough ask for Junior now, but. Um, well, they need, need three now, don't they? They might get one here, you know. Back off the goalkeeper, it's still not clear. Got They've got one of them. They've got one of them. It's game on again. Crushing for Junior, they've made so much effort. Uh, they've given up so much fight. They've dominated the game, they had the opportunities. You can see now that the players are destroyed. But like you said, they just need to go over this, learning from it, and wanting more, wanting to come back and be stronger next time.